I am Dr. Ab Arazak Arsadi. I was here as a professor at the Bulgarian Islamic Academy in the Republic of Tatarstan. And I am from Iraq, but I now live in Jordan. Islam is the religion of all prophets and messengers because it means dedication and submission, obedience, and worship to Almighty Allah, who is one and only one. This is Islam. Every prophet has a special method and sharia. The true Muslim is one who follows the words of the Holy Quran because the Holy Quran is the revelation of God to Prophet Muhammad and he is also the one who follows the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad. If he acts according to Quran and acts according to the Sunnah of the Prophet, then he will be a true Muslim. Because the Holy Quran says that a true Muslim esteemed the one God, his parents and relatives, respects his neighbor, all people, performs worship, prayers, and fast in Ramadan. He has money to give zakat to the poor, needy people, orphans, and widows. He performs a Hajj pilgrimage to the al Bayit al-Haram sacred house if he is financially able to. He is always humble with people, treats people politely. He is good with creativity and good speech, runs the agriculture, farming on this land, works in industry, etc. This is a true representative of Islam. We tell Muslims that it is not enough to call yourself a Muslim. We come to a person who says, I am Muslim, but when we look at his deeds, they are not Islamic deeds. He says that I am a Muslim and he drinks wine, which is not in accordance with the rules of conduct. He says that a Muslim himself but does not worship Allah, neither prayer, nor fasting, nor zakat, then this does not correspond to the truth. He says that I am a Muslim while squandering people's money, then this is not right. He says that I am a Muslim and at the same time hurts people or takes their lives, then this is not true. He is not a real Muslim. A true Muslim is the one who follows the Book of Allah and the Sunnah of his Messenger. It is not enough to declare that you are a Muslim. The woman says that she is a Muslim and she is covered with a headscarf, but who does not abide by God's borders. It is not permissible not to wear this hijab, headscarf. This is not a true Muslim. She says that I'm Muslim and at the same time, she mingles with men. She shakes hands with men and she's left alone with a strange man. This is not in accordance with the rules of Islam at all because Islam respects women and gives a high value to her. A woman is a mother, sister, daughter, and wife and Islam fully respects her as she is not allowed to give her body except for one man, her husband. Whenever man understands Islam, he can communicate it correctly to people, unchanged and undistorted, and thus the world will know that Islam is the religion of truth. It is a religion of life. It is the last of the divine religions. After it, there will be no other religion, and after the Quran, there will be no other book, and after the Prophet Muhammad, there is no prophet. Because he came to life and people don't need another religion because that religion is until the hour comes. This responsibility of scientists as well as the responsibility of political power should also help the spread of correct concepts and not about lies, distortions from some people about murders, destructions, rapes, and kidnapping. This is not in accordance with Islam at all. I mean, I say to the Muslims in the East, Sunrise, and West, Maghreb of the Earth, wherever you are, hold on to your religion. 
Prophet Allah's peace and blessing show that he holds his religion, especially in non-Muslim societies. As if he were striving for God, he would hold on to his religion and guide his wife and children to his sons and daughters so that they would not be integrated into decomposing societies. They are committed to their religion and their country in which they live. They respect the laws of the country in which they live while upholding their religion, worship, and satisfaction of their Lord. Thank you.